Hello everyone, now we will see the concept of RSA crypto system. It is the most common public key algorithm and the term RSA is named after its inventors Rives, Shamir and Aldman. The RSA crypto system involves the four steps with it. First one is key generation, then comes key distribution, encryption and decryption. The RSA is involving uh, two keys with it that is public and private key. The public key is known by everyone and is used for encrypting the message whereas private key is kept private and used for decrypting the message. The basic principle behind this RSA is that it is very difficult to find D where D is the private key and uh, E is the public key. E, D and N are very large positive integers. Okay. And here the RSA as we know that it is using two exponents E and D where E is public and D is private. Remember that if I wanted to encrypt the plain text P and C is the cipher text then the sender is using the formula C is equal to P to the power E mod N to create the cipher text from the plain text. And at the receiving end, the receiver is going to use the formula P is equals to C to the power D mod N to retrieve the plain text sent by the user. Here remember N is the modulus which is very large and is created during key generation process. Now let us see the procedure of RSA as here you can see the diagram P is the plain text which is going to be encrypted by using the formula c is equals to p to the power e mod n here we are using the public key e and modulo n okay and r is any group integer group with the operations like addition and multiplication then the encrypted message is received by the receiver who is going to decrypt it by using the formula p is equals to c to the power d mod n and after using this formula, after decrypting, we are going to obtain our plain text. So when we are decrypting, remember, we are going to calculate the key from the group G, which is a set of integers with multiplication operation. Here we, we need to select the value of P and Q such that the multiplication of P and Q is giving you the value of N, which is modulo value. And then select the value of E and D, which is uh, private and public key. E is public key and D is the private key. So the same concept here I have written at uh, RSA is using the modular exp exponentiation for encryption and decryption and if the hacker is going to hack the data he has to calculate root C mod N. Okay and here uh, as we know RSA is using two algebraic structure one is ring and another one is group. Ring is used for encryption and decryption purpose wherein R is any set of integers with addition or multiplication operations and uh, group is used for key generation purpose. The key, uh, key is used from the group G where G is private. If you see the algorithm, this is the algorithm for the RSA uh, encryption for key generation. Here we need to select two large prime values P and Q such that P is not equals to Q. Then multiply P and Q to obtain the value of N which is modulo value. Then perform phi of N function which is obtained by multiplying P minus 1 and Q minus 1. Then select the value of E such that 1 is less than E and E is less than phi of N. And E is co prime to phi of N. Then for decryption purpose, which is inverse of E mod N, you have to take E inverse mod phi of N. So after this, we are going to obtain a public key, which is E and N and private key D. Okay, so here <coughs> uh, the same thing when we are encrypting, we are going to use the formula C is equals to P to the power E mod N. For decryption purpose, again P is equals to C to the power D mod N. So remember here, whenever we are choosing the value of P and Q, it must be at least 512 bits and N must be at least 1024 bits. Okay, the proof of, proof of RSA can be obtained by using the second version of Euler's theorem. If we see the attacks on RSA, 
these are the few attacks on RSA. First one is factorization attack. Then comes the chooser, chosen cipher text, encryption uh, exponent, decryption exponent, plain text, modulus and implementation. All these things are been explained in our previous video. Please do check that one.